Good lad. What a mess. He asks you for help because he trusts you. A werewolf's even real. I've heard rumors. Who knows what's real? Monster. Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Think nothing of it. How do you know my name? Who doesn't? You slayed the beast, by God's grace. I admit I thought you a charlatan. I told the newsmiths they get nothing for their money. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher, by the way. I'm what passes around here for a physician. Red McCraith, banisher of ghosts and slayer of the terrible beast. How may I help you? I need no help. I just scared myself. These days I'm afraid of my own shadow. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought it was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? She is haunted, clear as day. No, it's not ridiculous, no. If you're haunted, I might be able to help you. I'm not haunted. I just took fright is all. But if you really want to help, when I ran, I dropped my bag. It has my medical equipment and supplies. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. A shame to lose them. We'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you, if you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. You are such a good man. Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. You forgot Beetlehead. Yeah. Here in the crevice, Evelyn Fitcher's lost bag. How did she manage to drop it down there? I feel something close.
I feel the dark curse or spell we found already. We should find that ritual Seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location.
Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. They never learn, do they? Whatever's in there is intact. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her bag. Spectral stains lead back to camp. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. Maybe she had no choice. Looks like her patients deserted her. Intriguing. I wonder why. You're back. Why, Mr. Switcher, whatever is the matter? Uh, I was home, working. All of a sudden, the book in my hands was torn apart. What does the devil want with me? Not the devil, but a ghost. You must know it now. Till lately, I would never have believed such nonsense. This never would have happened in Yorkshire. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why leave? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, may the Lord keep him, said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a-knocking, well... We were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Thickskin asked you to join her group. Nicholas spoke to her for me. She knew my worth. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. What did it matter if I must leave another?
Did you leave family behind in England? I left my sister there, yes. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start over. Unfixable? Why? She was to wed, and I opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her, and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I've no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. Whatever the ghost wanted, it made quite the mess. Someone has an axe to grind. Someone threw a book through the window. Our ghost's modus operandi, it seems. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall marry. You have the pox! You'll infect your wife and both of you will die! So cease your nagging and do your job! Cure me! Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. He had syphilis and didn't take it serious. She took that personally. This ghost is bent on ruining the doctor's business. Maybe they didn't like their medicine. This could be useful. We're done here. Time to take a look outside. Our flying book is a medical tome, Paracelsus. The dose makes the poison. The answer is here somewhere. be the sister. The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him. Present yourself! That's not the ritual I'd have used.
Show yourself and join me now. Oh, that was a clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear me too? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. I've seen your likeness. In the picture, you seemed in better shape. Well, now that's not very polite. Who are you, anyway? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. Geoffrey Rollins, me. Pretty as a picture. Near as pretty as you, my lady fair. We're banishers. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. I wager you smell dangerous. I like you. Why do you stay to haunt Evelyn Fitcher? Because, my lady fair, she let me die. But she was your doctor. A physician, she. Her physics didn't save me. A doctor, she. She doctored me and good. You think she didn't try hard enough? I stand before you, my lady fair, as proof of it. You have a very high opinion of yourself. I've earned it, my lady fair. I'm charming, educated, handsome, kind, attentive to your every need. Ask anyone. Like who? Why, like Eleanor Jane, or Madame Cresswell, Penny Ryder, or Penny Top, French Jenny, Greek Nell, Tall Sally, oh... Well, perhaps not, Sally. I owe her money. Geoffrey is clever, they will all say. Geoffrey is kind. Geoffrey is so very, very handsome. And who am I to argue with such knowledgeable women? You like to be loved. Don't you, my lady fair? I love to be loved. I miss it. To be alone is to be dead. Right now, sad to say, I'm both. The portrait. It's very good. Whose work is it? It was a wedding gift from Evelyn, my sister-in-law. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity, yes, very dear. Dear, dear Felicity. Dear Felicity. My wife-to-be, had fate allowed it. Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity, and would not be deterred by some midwife's trifle. Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, my lady fair. All she had to do was cure me. What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, my lady fair. It is nothing, nothing at all. I beg to differ. Syphilis is very much something. Because you had the pox, Evelyn Fitcher begged you not to marry her sister, Felicity. Ah, Felicity. She made my legs tingle, my head spin, she set my heart a-beating. Love, my friends, is a beautiful and dangerous thing. Before Evelyn let the illness take me, I was not so sick. I was just a man in love. Hale and hearty, me. You sure about that, friend? Because from where I'm standing, you look like shite. The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. I was a fool in love. Love didn't kill you, Geoffrey Rawlings. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm no physician, but I think he probably is a fool. With what did she treat your lesions? 
Salts and powders, powders and salts. And did they work? No, they did not. Too much sulfur rots the brain, and Joffrey says he lost his mind. No, the other symptoms don't fit. Powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the muscles and makes one's heart rot till death occurs. That's it. Powdered quicksilver, mercury salts, and Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait, what? A poisoning indeed, and not by carelessness. She is not a careless woman. Are you telling me that Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law to be, poisoned me? I'm gonna kill her! Geoffrey Rawlings was obnoxious before. Now he's downright nasty. Aye, oh, Mistress Fitcher's in danger. Do you think she killed him? Yes, I do. She swore to protect and use her knowledge to kill. For oh, shame. What would you have done to save your sister from the pox? I'd have told her the truth and trusted her to call off the wedding. Not sure she'd have listened, mind you. Joffrey Rowling, stand away. Mind your own business, my lady fair. You're within gun range, Red. I'm right here. Size. 
It's over. They're gone. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Joffrey Rawlings. Oh Lord, I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. He was betrothed to your sister, right? But you opposed the union. And what of it? She chose him over me. Why would he return to haunt me now? Fearing he would give your sister the pox, did you poison him with quicksilver? Is he here in search of revenge? Yes. I stole a few months of Joffrey Rowling's life to save decades of my sister's. You mistook yourself for God. Though you'd sworn an oath to protect life, you delivered death. I played God, for God did nothing. To save one you loved, you do the same. She took her life and feels no guilt. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Evelyn Fitcher, who swore to do no harm. Geoffrey Rawlings placed his trust in you. You poisoned him. Rawlings was sick, body and soul, and would have passed his illness on. What was I to do? You went against your sister's wishes, against your own principles. Twas a life for a life, a trade, the balance equal. A life for a life. I understand. I'm about to make the same trade. Death was a remedy. But who shall judge you, Banisher, when judgment time has come?
According to the map, the treasure should be near. The treasure must be around here somewhere. Hugging. I'm a badass. That corpse is gonna shoot. <laughs> Bartering for banishing. It is like the old days. Thank you, Mrs. Hake.
That's a void breach, all right. Should we jump in?
Boss, won't you? <laughs> Tormented first. This isn't over yet. today. Oh, <laughs> 
think you could take on a ghost? I... <gasps> Gotta get to this one. Even after being banished, Fortune Heaton sticks to his sense of ownership. <sighs> Terrifying. There's a tough one. That was the last of them.
Specked on nearby. Big one. Oh, someone I know. Spirit and flesh, I summon you! Ah! I must have offspring. The nightmare doesn't inhabit it. It's just a scourge. I'm 
mongrel.
Seeker's camp. This is where I woke up after the meeting house. I felt so lost. So confused. How do you feel now? Glad to have you. If only for a little while.
That's a void breach, all right. Should we jump in? Ready and waiting. I'm right here, you know. They never learn, do they? This hard. Yeah. 
watch out. We made it angry. Ready to walk through it if you are.
Ready and waiting. I have another in sight. Troubles about. Try this on for size. more of Change tack. We 
reinforcements. Coming for you. It's almost done. It's coming for you. Come <laughs> on. 
Blasted things freed at last. It's coming for you.
Try this on. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier? The same spell is upon this. We should find that ritual seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location.
The marker Kate mentioned. Let's find these missing settlers then. I mean, I won't say they're dead, but let's find them anyway. Something's nearby. Where is it? These body parts scream manifest my spectre. Present yourself! Hugging all the fun. Gonna ask for help?
I'm right here, you know. One second. It'd be all of them. If so, at least one recovered. Or died somewhere else. Three of them found a way out. And one succumbed to his injuries. They went southeast, hoping to reach the sea. Then we'll do the same.